Well, we are surrounded by a massive root system from a giant pine tree that was knocked over last night. And this is, as you can see, much taller than me, much wider than me. I mean, everything when it comes to this system shows you it takes a lot of muscle and wind to pull something like this out of the ground and the people living in this area. When you see something like this, I mean, they didn't expect it to happen. They were quite frankly shocked to see that this tree had fallen over. The tallest pine tree in this neighborhood, no match for the wind. I actually was really panicking and just uh, very scared. Nancy Heffron says the tree stood tall in her backyard for decades, but the strong winds last night ripped the tree up and out of the ground. It was so strong that the roots pulled the concrete base of her back wall apart, leaving a gap in the wall and her back gate on the dirt. She was shocked to see the damage when she came out here this morning. I happened to look out after the rain had kind of settled down and saw that my fence was down. And I was really surprised at that because it's a brick fence. And I couldn't figure out how the wind could have done that. The 60-foot tree crashed down onto the neighbor's roof. You can see the patio roof collapsed under the trunk of the tree. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Yeah, and there were some other branches and other smaller trees knocked over, but nothing quite like this. Nancy said that she has filed a claim with their insurance and so now just trying to figure out how that's going to work. Have somebody come out here and assess the damage and then hopefully in the next couple of days they can send someone out here to uh, really just start uh, the long process of uh, cutting this tree up and getting it out of here. Yeah, that is quite a mess there, uh, Michael. So all of our crews, you guys have been talking to people who had damage and they're all talking about hoping insurance covers this. What do people need to keep in mind about the insurance process if something like this happens to them? Yeah, one of the most important things is to just leave it as it is. They want you to take pictures, take videos of all the damage that you're seeing, but they don't want you to start repairing things or removing things before that insurance person can come out here and assess the damage. They say that is critical in the first step. And depending on what's actually damaged, it may be your home insurance that can cover you. It may even be your auto insurance. We've seen people who had trees and other debris knocked down onto their cars. So you're just going to want to check, of course, your insurance policies and figure it out from there. We certainly have a lot more information you can find on our website, azfamily.com. Reporting live in South Scottsdale, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family.